Good afternoon. The uh, vast majority of PCIs are currently performed with implantation of uh, DES with uh, well-known immediate and one-year uh, results. However, long-term uh, uh, follow-up studies have shown an annual 2-4% to 4 adverse event rate that is mainly due to uh, stent complications. A minimal uh, stenting strategy using drug coated in balloon is therefore uh, attractive. Uh, studies with uh, Pacataxel uh, DCBs have produced a mixed result and Sirolimus has been limited in the use uh, with uh, DCBs due to technical difficulties. The uh, solution DEB study uh, was designed by uh, Medallions. It has unique features. It eludes a Sirolimus which is encapsulated in micro reservoirs with biodegradable polymer and therefore allows uh, uh, progressive uh, diffusion of the uh, drug. There is a phospholipid coating on this very deliverable uh, catheter that contains and protects the micro reservoirs uh, during the placement of uh, the device and also enhances uh, drug uh, transfer to the vessel wall. So with these unique features, uh, this uh, catheter uh, delivers sustained uh, drug uh, therapeutic concentrations in the vessel wall for 90 days, which is uh, similar to current uh, limus eluding uh, stents. So the trial design, uh, we included patients with very large inclusion uh, criteria, limited exclusion criteria. Uh, the investigators assessed if the lesion was amendable to both uh, treatments, either the solution strategy uh, or the DES uh, strategy. We had no limitations on the number of lesions or vessels treated. We treated vessels between two and five uh, millimeters uh, as long as they were treated uh, with the uh, same device, either solution SCB uh, or uh, drug eluding stents. We excluded STEMI, uh, non-STEMI uh, grafts, uh, instant uh, restenosis uh, uh, CTO. Uh, the design of our trial was uh, uh, we randomized patients uh, before the procedure and before uh, lesion preparation to two strategy groups. The first strategy group was uh, the solution uh, SCB strategy group where patients were treated uh, with uh, lesion uh, preparation followed by the inflation of a solution SCB uh, catheter and if necessary in case of uh, a high risk uh, dissection or a residual stenosis over 30%, DES could be used in this group. In the other group, systematic uh, uh, DES, DES were used according to uh, guidelines and correct practice. And if a DES could not be implanted, uh, the operator could use other devices, POBA or a DCB. The first co primary endpoint uh, presented at uh, TCT is a non-inferiority of target vessel failure. Target vessel failure is a composite of cardiac death, myocardial uh, infarction related to the uh, target uh, vessel, and clinically driven uh, target vessel vascularization. We also have a second co-primary endpoint at five years, which is reassessing uh, non-inferiority uh, between the two groups. Uh, and if non-inferiority is meet, we will test for superiority. So during this trial, the uh, trial was uh, designed by the uh, steering committee and the steering committee played a major role in the execution in the trial. In particular, we met every Monday between six and seven o'clock in the evening to be able to review the first five uh, cases of each, uh, of each uh, center and also all cases where stents were implanted. The, a the goal was to be able to uh, give information to the centers and educate the centers on how to prepare a uh, lesion and how to use uh, the uh, solution eluding balloon. In addition, we had uh, uh, meetings with the investigators on a regular basis by Zoom and also at the major meetings. So therefore, this study also includes a learning curve, which is uh, very important where centers that were not familiar with uh, a solution uh, eluding uh, balloon, 
Lisa, learned how to do vessel preparation and learned how to use uh, SEBs. So the results of our trial are TVF was 4.4 in the uh, DES strategy group, 5.3 in the solution uh, SEB uh, group, and the uh, non-inferiority margin was 2.44. The upper uh, boundary of the confidence inf interval of the risk difference was 2.38. Therefore, we met non-inferiority with a p-value for non-inferiority of 0 0.02. So in the future, what is it going to change? I think that there is going to be a uh, big change in uh, paradigm in the way we uh, look at a lesion and uh, assess the uh, possibility of using either a uh, SCB or a uh, DS. As a trialist, what I would say is that if I have a patient that meets the inclusion and exclusion criteria of the trial, and that is easy to find since we had broad inclusion criteria and limited exclusion criteria, if I believe that the lesion can be treated by an SCB or by a DES, uh, I will uh, ask the patient. We have two possibilities. We can either implant a DES. We know what's going to happen. We have follow-up for at least uh, 20 years, and you do have a 2 to 4% uh, adverse rate uh, every year with uh, this device. Or we can plant this uh, uh, drug, uh, this uh, solution, uh, uh, SCB uh, catheter, uh, where we know that at one year the outcome is going to be uh, as good as with uh, uh, ADS, but where we have the hope of reducing the adverse events that are related uh, to the stents in the future, and if there is going to be another intervention, uh, it will be easier getting into the artery and placing either another uh, drug uh, eluding a balloon or a stent. Quite frankly, I believe that most of my patients are going to answer that they would prefer a stentless strategy.